My dear friends, you have come together in the church so that the Lord may seal and strengthen your love in the presence of the church's minister and his community. Christ abundantly blesses this love. He has already consecrated you in baptism, and now he enriches and strengthens you with a special sacrament so that you may assume the duties of marriage in mutual and lasting fidelity. And so, in the presence of the church, I ask you to state your intentions. Michael, Cynthia, have you come here freely and without reservations to give yourselves to each other in marriage? Yes, yes, yes. yes. Okay, very good. <laughs> Will you love and honor each other as man and wife for the rest of your lives? Yes. Will you accept children lovingly from God and bring them up according to the law of the church? And his yes. <laughs> <laughs> I've been waiting to say that. Since it is your intention to enter into marriage, join your right hands and declare your consent before God and his church. So turn toward each other, join right hands. <laughs> Which right, right? Which right? <laughs> you want to repeat or just say I do? Okay, so we're just going to go with I do. Try. We're going to start with him. <laughs> Proceed after me. I'm Michael. I'm Michael. Take you, Cynthia. Take you, Cynthia. To be my wife. To be my wife. I promise to be true to you. I promise to be true to you. In good times and in bad. In good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. I will love you. I will love you. And honor you. And honor you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. Your turn. I, Cynthia. Take you, Michael. To be my husband. I promise to be true to you in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health. I will love you and honor you all the days of my life. You have declared your consent before God and the church. May the Lord in his goodness strengthen your consent and fill you both with his blessing. What God has joined, men must not divide. Amen. You want me to rebless your rings? Yes. Okay. <coughs> Easy one. <laughs> then it's good that you're leaving God, isn't it? Lord, bless these rings, which we bless in the name in your name. Grant that those who wear them may always have a deep faith in each other. May they do your will and always live together in peace, goodwill, and love. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please stand. You have listened to the word of God. Let us now ask God to listen to us. To bless our words of prayer, which we offer for the people of the world, we pray first for the church, for the state, and heads of institutions, and the homes and households, that they will lead us and guide us to, in the search of God, God and for good life, in the search of peace and joy, in the search of love <coughs> among us. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all married people, for those who have married yesterday, for our new couple, Michael and Cynthia, married today, for those who will marry tomorrow, that they may savor the joy of being together, warm love of children, long life, wine and friends, and a new day every day, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all young single people who look forward to a vocation full of life and full of love, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the lonely old and the lonely young, for the hungry rich, the hungry poor, for the sick in body, mind, and spirit, for weak, for weakness in, for all the weaknesses in us, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our relatives and friends who walk with us on life's journey, that those who have 
gone before us to the other side of life for the fulfillment of their unfinished business, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. With intention of this Mass for adopted families, a special intention for them, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. These are our words of prayer today for ourselves and for the human, for all human beings. Tomorrow there will be others. Lord, grant the beloved of humankind who has first loved us. Give our words by your listening the power of your words so that all things may be accomplished swiftly and gently for the happiness of all. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Congratulations. We love you. We'll do an actual blessing in a little while when we come to that part of the Mass, okay?